All right, we are live. I really don't like to show my birds off for the fact that there's a lot of haters, a lot of animosity, a lot of negativity to the sport. I'm a very private guy. I like to be private, but since this is my group and a smaller group, I don't mind posting on my own group. This is what I have to work with. This is my foundation. These are called my northern lines. These birds are from up north. These are the Joe Eberton, old uh, Juan Navarro stuff, which is uh, his grasshopper line. Um, a lot of these birds, um, it's gonna be my first year, I'm gonna fly a kit of these birds. Just got started in the hobby. Just got started about, uh, I want to say less than a year. But so far, I got one little squab right here. We'll see how that goes. It's off my uh, black checkered and my uh, red check. I'm going to start getting familiar with band numbers. Now, this bald head right here. This is also my northern line from up north. She's beautiful. She's got the body type. She's a red checkered bald head. I put her on my Hemet line. I call it my Hemet line, that big bald head. I'm balancing my birds out. You know, I got a lot of knowledge from a lot of older guys. So I got this smaller hen on this bigger cock. Got the muscle balanced to the uh, body type. Now this uh, pair here, they just got eggs. They got two eggs now. You just got them down on eggs, uh, I would say about a week ago. They're down on eggs. This is my first click pair. I'm hoping it's a click pair. This is my, uh, we'll start from this side. This pair I just put together. This is my uh, Tim Decker cock with my Hemet line. Now these birds that came from Hemet, Real typey, real small, beautiful birds. That black, she looks, she looks amazing. That cock, he's a little bigger. So I'm gonna balance that out with that smaller hen and see what I get. The body type is there, the muscles there. We'll see what this brings me this year. So got the orange eye with the pearl eye. We'll see how that goes. It's a nice click. I hope it's a click pair. Right here I have my uh, have my redhead check. He's like an ash redhead check with my black checkered. These two little squabs here. One looks bigger than the other, but uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll be keeping an eye on them. I clean my cage up. Now here is my. Solid black Hemet line hen with my northern, my northern family. Um, they got one baby, but I fostered one from the bald heads. Looks like they're doing okay. I don't want to really bother them because I just fostered their baby to this pair because they weren't taking care of them. We'll see how that goes. I got to redo my my tags. I have this beautiful pair right here. I got my, uh, I call him a uh, blackjack. He's an outstanding bird, 50 foot bombshell. This is a Norm Reed bird, bred from up north. And uh, I put him on this bald head, um, Hemet bird. That's my Hemet line. She's got two eggs. My birds, I like to take care of them like my children. Give them baths. I uh, just dip them in borax to get rid of those flea mites, or those feather mites, whatever they are. I keep my birds on point. Now this is my uh, northern family right here. I got my black checker down and my uh, uh, grizzle. I want to call it a blue grizzle. I got eggs and I fostered two eggs in there. I'm gonna see if um, 
what eggs are good. Cause they 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 put two eggs and then there's two that look like they're gonna hatch that foster. So we'll see what happens with that. But he's a he's a he's a muscle cock. Got him down on that black checkered hen. All my birds are one family. They're all black checkered. Actually, I got three family. I would be lying if I said that. Just put this pair down right here. That's a Tim Decker cock with my northern family, my black checkers. I got a lot of black checkered hens. I love that. They're real typey, real small, really nice birds. So I'm not going to bring no outcrosses into my family of birds right now. I'm just going to focus on what I got and... Uh, take it from there haven't had a kit ready yet for the fact that uh i'm limited on space i got 15 pairs down right now this pair i'm gonna break down if they don't produce another egg their child has been fostered to the other side this is my hemet line the bald head blue bar is my hemet bird and this is my uh my northern light right here We'll see if they clutch me another one. I just put this pair down. This is a Norm Reed cock with my northern, my northern light family. I call it my northern light because I got this whole family from up north. And they're all Joe Everton, supposedly grasshopper line, but they look really nice, real typey birds. So I put this uh, muscle cock on this small typey hen just to balance them out and see what I get. I got my uh, hemet cock. I got three bald head hemet cocks. This is one of them. He's down on uh, a baby with my uh, orange eye. That's my northern. No, that's actually another hemet bird. These birds I got from up in hemet. So that's the father to these two youngsters. My first. 21s, gotta be ready to fly soon. Hopefully I get a, build me a kit. To this side, I got 15 pairs, like I said, for now. I don't have the space to accommodate a whole bunch. This is blackjack number two. I got two solid blacks that are my top dogs. Really nice, real typey. He's got an orange eye. I put him down with this uh, black and white model. Let's see what happens. She's actually from some dude in Palmdale. He said it's Tim Decker line, but we'll see how that goes. Now I just put this pair down. This is a muscle red spangle cock from Hemet. I put him down with my northern my northern light line. This is a black checkered hen. She's uh, coming out pretty nice through the malt. We'll see how she produces with him this year. Now this is my uh, real typey um, Northern Light Dun Hen. Just put her down with this uh, old school hemet cock. These birds look like they're Higgins base, but I'm not 100% sure because I didn't get a hold of the original owner. I just picked them up from a third party. So we'll see how that goes. He looks real nice, real typey. He looks like some Higgins shit, so. We'll see how that goes in my northern light. I got the I got the juice here. I mean, I got some nice birds. I just gotta know how to how to breed. Now this is an experiment. I'm trying my muff. I do like muffs. This is the only one muff that I have that's a big muff. I got her with the Hemet uh, red and white cock. I just put these two down. We'll see how that goes. Get my birds vinegar. You know, kill any infections, and then I give them some red cell to get them pumping. You know, some horse supplement stuff. We'll see how that goes. Now, this is my hen pen. I'm not going to get into detail with that. Really don't want to show all my hens, but I got at least 35 hens and a couple holdovers in there. We'll see how they turn out. They're coming out nice through the molt. Got a lot of bald heads. I got a lot of birds waiting for their turn and there's another cream muff we'll see how that goes next year these are all my cocks i got a lot of cocks in here 
These guys are all waiting for their turn. This is the bird that's on my G-Man Loft logo. I like him, but he just had his baby die on me. Could have been my fault for not feeding him every single day. So I probably missed a day on that. That done, he was on uh, my black checkered from north. I'm going to get ready to put him down. I'm going to let him get caliente, let him get hot. And that big bald head, I'm going to fly his ass. He just, I don't know, he doesn't look too appealing to me. I'm probably going to get rid of this bird. He's thirsty as fuck. This is a holdover right here. All my birds, all my cocks, the majority of my cocks are small and real typey. As you can see, all my cocks, they're real typey and small. Those two are my pretty uh, big size muscle cocks, but most of these cocks are real typey. I haven't bred that lavender yet. I've been wanting to breed him, but um, he's got a short beak, and I'm not really a fan of the short beaks. Same as with this guy. Those two are my hemet birds, so we'll see how that goes. No, uh, we'll take it from there. And I got a fucking bird. It's got the sniffles. I got him quarantined. Because I don't like to have my birds with uh, sick birds. It's a nice looking bird. But I got him quarantined. I gave him some lemon, Mexican remedy, and some garlic. Get his ass right. He's a real nice typey bird. Muscle cock. We'll see how he goes. I got that hand right there. These are all the birds that I have that are not doing too well. You know, they got like a cold in the eye, a cough or something. I got one that has canker. He got canker uh, from another bird. And I had, I don't want to kill this bird. Uh, I have his son. His son is turned out to be nice, but I haven't had a chance to fly him. His son is, uh, where's that bald head? Oh, yeah, that's his son right there. That's the son, that badge, and that's the mother. That's his mother. I'm going to probably breed him back to his mom. And these two little squabs right here, This is a, he's, he's big like his dad, and that one's small like the mother. That's the father, so I'm going to try him on a different mating. See how that goes. Now his mother, on the other hand, she's right there. That's the mother. Actually, that's the mother. That blue bar right there. So we'll see how it goes. Got a lot of birds waiting for their turn. I'm probably gonna get rid of a few. I don't like to overcrowd my birds and I gotta be changing the floor. A lot of females waiting for the turn. So we'll see how that goes. This is a holdover. I sent some birds uh, 15 miles down the road to my cousin's house. We have another operation going down there. He's actually going to breed and fly some birds for me since I can't do it all here with the space that I have. This is uh, G-Man Loft. This will probably be the last video you'll see from me um, until I get my house by next year. I'll start to do more videos.